Welcome to Exodus Goodbye World. It's an MMO style game built in the Decentraland metaverse at coordinates 127 comma 44. We're calling it an MRPG. It stands for Metaverse Role Playing Game. There are several things you can start doing. It's currently in a beta. We will be adding seven skills to start through the beta process. As of right now, we have two betas, two beta skills. Wood chopping and fishing was launched today. And there's scavenger hunting, a bank, merch store, government tokens, a bunch of other things that come along with it. When you first arrive here, you would, can speak to Hopper the Woodchopper. After speaking with him, hit E, he should give you an iron hatchet. You can click on that iron hatchet, and then you'll want to hit equip. Click on your equipment, you'll see that the iron hatchet is here. If you go to a sycamore tree, we're just going to say level 1 here, then right here we'll say level 90. You can only cut down that tree with the appropriate hatchet and the appropriate level. As you cut the tree, it's going to give you some XP at the top, and then it's going to also give you a log. As you receive logs, you continue to gain XP, which you can see over here in your skills. You click on wood chopping, and under here you can see my experience, my level, and how much XP it will take to level up. After we do that, we can talk to Marge. Marge is going to tell you that there are nine scavenger hunt locations. If you haven't found one already, it's going to say 10. But there's little dirt spots around the land. Let me run and try to see if I can find one real quick. Uh, there's one right here. If we click on it, it's going to give you either currency or a gem. That was currency. And you can find them all over the place, even inside of the lake. And once you come close to one, it's going to tell you that there's a location there. You feel something on your feet. Click on it. You can, you can see that I found a ruby. I'll click on my inventory. Here's the ruby. Now, if I want to deposit these because there's only 30 slots, I'll talk to uh, Penelope or whichever one of these bankers you'd like to speak to. You can deposit single items by clicking on them like this, or you can hit deposit all. And then all of your inventory items will move over to your bank. And then you can click on the fishing pole here. I'm going to withdraw it because I'm going to need it. And we're going to run over here and speak to the fisherman. Then the fisherman will give you a new hatchet. I mean, a new fishing pole. Once he does that, you'll see it in your inventory here. You can hit equip. And you can go over here. There's a catfish spot right here. They swim around in circles. Once you click on it, you'll see your fishing pole come out. And it will start to gain fish and XP. So you can level up. You see, I just got two XP. If we go to skills again, you can see that my experience is 1065, my level is 115, and I'm going to level up in 14.9 XP. If we wait here long enough, we should be able to get a fish. Two XP again, wow. The 50-50 shot, you'll get 2 XP or 4 XP, and I've gotten 3 2 XPs in a row. Maybe this will be a 4 XP, and I'll get a fish. There we go. Caught a catfish. It's going to show up in your inventory here. Now, if we run up here to the merch store, this is how you can purchase NFTs. It is one of the, mm, it's phenomenal. I really love it. You click on Silas the Merchant. You're going to talk to him. He's going to tell you about inflation. And as you can see right in our inventory here, you can see our currency is 38,840. Once we click on him, you can purchase different hatchets and fishing rods as you level up that will be needed. This is a level 40 ha uh, fishing rod. It will cost 1,000 meta money to purchase. Now, let's you just click on the one you want to buy, and then you hit buy. In this case, I'm going to use an NFT. The hatchets themselves are just game items. They're not currently NFTs. They will be in the future. If I want to buy this Robin Hood hat, I'm going to hit purchase or buy. It's going to say your purchase has been processed. Enjoy your item. The next thing you'll want to do is go to polygon scan. Something simple just to show how it can be tracked and traced. Once you're at polygon scan, you can grab your wallet address. I'm going to copy my wallet address and then I'm going to paste it in here for FF52. And then you will click your ERC721 tokens and you can see 28 seconds ago my order for a Robin Hood hat is filled.
I'm going to go ahead and exit that out. I now um, validated that I received it, and I have a Robinhood hat that is now in my backpack. Go to backpack, and then you can put it on. The other parts of this we are going to have, which I just said it again, there's another spot, 18 currency. It looks like I might have just lagged out. Ooh, maybe not. There we go. The next thing we're adding, which is approximately a month from today, we're going to be adding mining. It's going to be work. It will work similar to fishing and wood chopping. You'll talk to Cole, the miner. Once you speak to him, he's going to give you a pickaxe, and then you'll go ahead and start mining. We're going to redo the whole mine here and get that ready and available for the end of August is the goal for launch.